Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. My name is Moose78. Hope you guys are doing well today, by the way. And just uh, want to thank everyone for all the support you showed on the last American Truck Sim video. Greatly appreciate that. The level of interaction was just amazing. Uh, even have viewers interacting with each other, which is awesome. That's exactly the type of community I want to build is where people can just come over here, hang out, and just enjoy the hobby of gaming and truck sims and all that good stuff. So thank you guys for that. That's awesome. And also, uh, just real quick to all the folks out there that are going to be celebrating Thanksgiving this week. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope you have a safe and happy one. But uh, today we are in Las Vegas, Nevada. We are taking a load of office supplies up to Eureka, California, which uh, should be a pretty good run. Take a look at the map here. We're just going to run along uh, the southern part of Nevada here till we get up into California. Get up in the northern part of California. So this should be a really scenic run for us. Uh, should take a little while too. So uh, this will probably span out over a couple episodes. And uh, with the holiday uh, coming up this week, schedule is going to be quite a bit different here on the channel. Probably just do a few uploads um, this week. I got to LSPDFR up yesterday on Monday. I'm going to try it. I'm recording this uh, on a Tuesday. So I want to try to get this up today. And then I'll try to either get uh, another ATS video up tomorrow or LSPDFR. Kind of see how it goes. But uh, yeah, that'll probably be about it this week, though. About three videos this week. I've been doing about four or five the last couple weeks, and uh, that's been working out pretty well. So probably take a couple days off this week, spend some time with the family and all that good stuff. And plus, just this, this particular part of November is always really busy for me uh, anyway. Just a whole lot of family stuff going on, which is awesome. Probably about my uh, favorite part of the you know entire holiday season is this week. Just a lot of cool stuff going on. So go out here, get rolling, and uh, get started. Though. So I don't typically. Uh, hit a 42 print, so it's kind of cool to uh, go to some different uh, locations I personally have not been to. Looks like I'm going to clear everything back there. Oh yeah, we're good there. Nothing coming. But uh, from everything I was reading on my video and just uh, some other, you know, content and, uh, you know, websites, message boards, all that good stuff, I'm seeing nothing but positive feedback so far on the rescale. So that's awesome. Looks like a lot of people are enjoying it and uh, looks like a lot of people are, you know, if they were kind of, you know, kind of getting bored with truck sims, are definitely excited about it again, which is awesome. I know I am definitely excited. You know, not that I wasn't excited before, but uh, really excited to see, uh, you know, what they have in store for us, you know, moving forward. States, all that good stuff. States, trucks, maybe some additional content. And it's just really cool to see, uh, see this truck sim community grow. Really? Ah. I don't like how they got taxis in game now, though. I can sneak past here. Great, yeah, Jeep Grand Cherokee there. me on the uh, last video uh, what graphics mod I'm using in game it is the Piva weather mod 2.4 link for that will be down in the video description also I'll put a link to a video I uh, just did recently on uh, graphics settings for ATS on top of you know the weather mod uh, the Piva weather mod I'm also using a program called Nvidia inspector which is uh, just some additional control panel options for Nvidia GPUs but uh, I got a tutorial on how to set all that up and uh, just some, you know, my in-game graphic settings and stuff like that. So be sure to check that out. Easy there, Saya. Easy. 
And that, of course, is part of uh, one of Jazzy Cat's mods. Glad to see that's still working in-game. That is the... Let me think here. That's the uh, Painted Trucks and Trailers mod, if I'm not mistaken. I will try to put... Um, I will try to put a couple of the mods that I am using today down in the video description. You know, like I said before, I'm going to try to go to the format that I use uh, for my LSPDFR videos where I just put all the mods down in the video description with links and all that good stuff. And I'll just put the mods, you know, links for the mods that I'm, you know, using in a uh, given episode of American Truck Simulator. Nothing coming. And yes, I know I just made that right-hand turn from the other lane, but what do you do? Had a great trip, uh, that last run. That was just awesome. But, uh, interested to know uh, what your favorite part of the rescale is so far. Is there a certain city that you really just enjoy now? A certain stretch of road? A certain landmark? Leave a comment down below. Love hearing from you guys. Say, so, so far... You know, I've, like I said, I've had not had a whole lot of time uh, here lately. Just had, you know, had a lot of family stuff. You know, good family stuff. Uh, celebrating milestones and all that stuff uh, going on here lately. But uh, I think so far, my favorite part of the rescale has been uh, the revamped uh, rest areas. That I thought that was just really, really cool. You know, that and uh, some of the updated road systems. You know, the ramps, interchanges, all that good stuff. Glad to see that is still a viable option coming off the ramps using the four ways. Makes merging into the traffic a whole lot easier. But I haven't come across a scale house yet. Uh, hopefully uh, we get to do that here today. Check that out. And I thought I saw somewhere, I uh, thought I saw a screenshot somewhere, either on Facebook or over on uh, Truck Mod Shop to where uh, they have the runaway ramps now on one of the highways, which that would be a really cool addition. Speed limit up to 80 now. Wow. Got a contracted run, so I will not be doing that today. What I am going to do, though, turn on my headlights so we can see where we're going at night. So that's kind of a thing. Yeah, that's kind of a thing. can't tell. It doesn't seem like the AI truck traffic has really sped up any at all. I don't know if I can dig into the files and see exactly uh, what it is or not. I'm just kind of curious though. I'd wager say they're probably set to like 55 or maybe 60. I had to guess. So we have a half tank of fuel, so I'm not going to worry about stopping here. Which, you know, I wouldn't be able to stop here anyway because I'm passing this guy. Unless I wanted to cause all sorts of commotion. That looks like a pretty standard uh, truck stop. We've already seen in-game. 
which I I do like that particular style of truck stuff pretty well though. Just wish they were maybe a little bit bigger. I'm trying to stay away from these barricades because they are right on. And it looks like in some cases maybe just over the yellow line. So I'm a little bit concerned about the collision boxes there. Hey, come on, people! What are we doing here? Really? I do like where I got my brake sensitivity uh, set out, though. That feels pretty realistic. Might tweak it just a little bit, but yeah. Still trying to get used to that, because where I had it before, I think I had it set way too high, and I could stop pretty easily. And landscape out here just looks amazing, though. Especially the Salmonite. You know, sunset and all that. Just starting to get dark. You know, I think at the end of the day, this game does look really good. But I did have to modify it just a little bit because I don't like uh, the I don't like the filter they have on the stock stock game just I don't know but this does look pretty good I gotta fix something in my inspector profile to where uh get my road signs to look look normal again like as i'm going through here take a look at some of the highway signs and whatnot they just look all all messed up for whatever reason and i think that is something to do with my inspector profile so i think before i link any of those down below. I'm just going to go up here and turn instead of doing all that nonsense. Before I uh, upload one of my inspector profiles, I'll get all that sorted out first. That way you guys don't have to worry about it. Just some must be some just little little small town or something. See, and there's the old style rest area. See, I can't quite make that out. Throw on Z brakes. So far, so good. So we just left Vegas not too long ago. I think we're about 15 minutes or so in. And we're not even a Tonopah yet, which is pretty awesome.
So I'd imagine uh, this will probably be out of, I'd say this will probably be out of open beta maybe in the next week or so. I think there's been a few updates already. This wheel is just so touchy. It's still using the Momo. But I think there's been a few updates to the beta already. I imagine they're going back and, you know, patching stuff, fixing stuff, little things like that. But uh, it's been pretty stable, which is good. I've not had any crashes or anything like that. Performance seems really good. So all in all, I think it's uh, doing pretty well. Copper sitting up there. does seem maybe a little bit different. I don't know. Seems like maybe these curves are a little bit stretched out. Can't really tell though. Looks like we're pretty much going to be so I don't know if this is like two lane till we get up around Reading or maybe Reno. Interesting. See, I'm almost tempted to. Just to kind of mix it up a little bit. Just kind of tempted to, once we get into Reno, grab 80 and take that up to 5 and go into Eureka that way. Just to see what's uh, different on the interstates there in California now, up here in the uh, northern part. Instead of just kind of taking this, you know, all the way up through. So I do want to uh, get on the interstate and check some of that stuff out too. See what they've added and changed and all that good stuff. So I think that is what we're going to do. After I drive all over the road. Over the holidays, though, uh, this week I got some time to sit down and get some mods sorted out, get those updated for 1.5. So I know the uh, Wabash National mod that uh, is over there on Truck Mod Shop. I need to fix a couple things on that, or I'd like to get a couple things fixed on that and help out with that. So uh, it seems like the one trailer that has the uh, side skirts on it looks up. Like there's something missing. 
like some kind of, I don't know if they changed the mat files or something, but it uh, shouldn't be too hard of a fix, so I'll try to get that done, hopefully. Just a couple little things like that. So we're in, coming up on Tonopah. Oh, this is one of my favorite cities in Nevada. I think it's just cool, cool how they got it all laid out and everything, and it's just a real scenic looking town too. I do like that mod from Jazzy Cat though. That really, really mixes it up a little bit with the trucks and stuff like that. That way you just don't have uh, just the sock trucks pulling around, just plain old trailers in game. Now you got actual company trucks and stuff like that in game. Pretty cool. So you can kind of see those signs there, how they're all just messed up. And not too bad getting across there. I do think that intersection uh, could stand a light or something like that. You know, because this is an the stretch road we're on now is not an interstate, so you could definitely put a uh, stoplight up there. Back on the two lane. I don't know how it is, but it seems like, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but more often than not, when I'm on the two lanes, it seems like it's always nighttime. Which, if you're going to run the two lanes, honestly, that's probably about the best time to do it. We ain't got a whole bunch of traffic to monkey with. That's pretty cool, though. That'd be cool to do, uh, take this road going the other way. And climb the hill instead of coming down it. That's gotta be pretty awesome. Not a whole lot of traffic or not a whole lot going on right now, though. Kind of relaxing, honestly. See if we got a little fuel stop up here. I think we're going to stop up here and top off our tank. 
Getting a little bit low. And we're in California. There we go. Yeah, it's a good time to stop because we're getting kind of low. Got the extra cab lights there on the back of the sleeper. I don't know, I do like these 579s though. I like them a lot. Nice looking clean aero truck. Still has that classic kind of Peterbilt look to it a little bit. You know, like the 379 or the 389 or whatever. go and let's go ahead and get back after it let's see exactly where we're at here oh yeah we're just a little bit west of Tonopah still got a little bit to go till we get to Carson City so maybe we'll look at stopping here at uh, this rest stop here see what's going on with that if not we just might run into Carson City but I do want to get over here to, to uh, the interstate kind of wish I would have stopped well, I guess we would have had to, I guess we still could, but we'd be backtracking quite a bit. Going south over to Fresno, then catch the interstate and running up that way. I think we'll just, like I said, we'll, uh, what I was talking about a couple minutes ago, we'll just hit Reno, then grab 80, go through Truckee into Sacramento and catch five going north and going to Eureka that way. Kind of break it up a little bit. And don't get me wrong, I do like running the two lanes and everything, but need to mix it up just a little bit. Get out there and experience some of that new stuff. Don't see anything coming back there, so we should be good to go. So those little rest areas like that kind of drive me nuts. Just a little bit over the speed limit, so I do want to get my crew set to 55. And we'll set it there at 57. Well, a little bit over, but not, you know, where we really have to worry about getting any kind of tickets or anything like that if we do uh, come across a cop or something.
so far, really enjoying this run. I'm pretty wide open in terms of the scenery and all that stuff. And we're back into Nevada. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. How we kind of wind back and forth between the states and everything. So what do we got up here? I think it's just another one of the... Yeah, it's one of like one of the little dirt patch rest areas. So we'll keep on going just a little bit. Maybe we'll try to get up into Carson City. Looks like we got someone behind us now. I do like how uh, this rescale is coming along, though. This is really, really nice. And we're what? Just over half an hour in, and we're just halfway there. Maybe halfway. So I can totally see this whole run taking a little bit over an hour, which would be awesome. And yeah, I don't even think we're even halfway yet. And plus, I am going to deviate a little bit from. Uh, from the initial uh, route trip there, so it might take us a little bit longer. But I do want to explore the interstate and check all that out. Coming up on Carson City. Sorry. Car was uh, flashing its lights at me because I still have my brights on. I still think that's a pretty cool little feature. Carson City discovered. Right on. So I'm just glancing down at the mini map there. Looks like they still have like a rest area at the service station, which is kind of frustrating. I was hoping they kind of do away with that, but uh, does not look like that is the case. Which, you know, it's not a huge deal, just I was kind of hoping they would. And car, you can go ahead and pass me if you want to. I mean, there's another line of traffic over here. Tell if they're still back there. Yeah, they're still back there. So there might be something 
A little rest area or something over here. We're gonna go check that out. Let's imagine if it's anything, it's just gonna be one of those little lots or whatever. Which is a okay. Which I haven't turned it back on yet. I keep forgetting to. I need to turn on uh, fatigue simulation. It should just be uh, right up here in front of us. You have discovered a recruiting recruitment agency. I have still not hired a driver yet in this game. Not a single one. Oh, okay, it's just a motel is what we has. It's starting to rain. My gosh, by gum it is. We are gonna pull in here. fix that I don't know why I don't know why that is like that though I don't know if that is from one of the which I wouldn't think that it would be the flare mod that I'm using because I'm pretty sure the flare mod I'm using only I don't know I'll have to double check that And that will do that. There we go. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode. If so, just give it a like and a share. It just helps me out a bunch and helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please take a look around, watch a couple of videos, and consider subscribing now. But guys, until the next video, have a safe and happy holiday. Take care. And we'll be seeing you.